the closer I get to you. The more you make me see. My giving me all you got. Your love has captured me. And I can't get no more because YouTube really has a problem. They already have told me that I better knock it off. <laughs> but good morning, good afternoon. Good evening, my illustrious family. Welcome, welcome, welcome um, to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. And if I haven't said it enough, I want to make sure I continue to say Happy New Year. And I hope you guys are sticking to whatever resolutions or whatever decisions that you decided, um, especially if they're positive for your bodies. Um, and I wanted to make sure to all of y'all, I want y'all to hear me real good this morning. Coming up again, I told you there's going to be some changes on the channel coming in 2022. And I definitely, definitely, definitely don't want to talk too much of the politics because what that does is it allows, um, an, an, a stress that's just not even necessary okay simply because deep down inside i do i do believe that there they are different wings on the same bird so it's like why am i even discussing some of this stuff even when i see joe manchin um or cinema doing the things that they do i mean i know from watching the script as long enough that it's always Wash, rinse, repeat. So I want y'all to help me. And I know that um, a lot of y'all like to hear my political commentary. And like I said, I'm not saying I'm going to do, I won't say a, a thousand percent, but it's not something that I really want to focus on. So you will probably hear less and less of that type of commentary on here. I really want to focus on the building up of us. You know, kind of like how I created the channel and I talked about some of the things that, you know, the mental, you know. And so one of the things I decided to do was to talk about um, things that could help us be better. Let's talk a little psychology. Let's talk a little uh, philosophy. Let's talk a little astrology. Um and some of the things that we've learned along the way. Those things always, always gather good conversations. And from the comments that I get, y'all already on so many different levels, you know, enlighten me to a lot of different things every day. Especially like the Mad Hat Doctor. Oh my God, Yanni. Um, you know, there's um, certain things I hear. That I'm like, wow, um, you know, they, they, they really get it and they, or they challenge me, you know, to, to think a little deeper about some things. So, and I welcome it. It's just br building bridges as far as I'm concerned. But, you know, I really wanted to start the year off in a space where, you know, just, you know, like talking about grudges, you know. Because we all have reasons to kind of like to hold grudges. Uh, people wronged us. Races have wronged us. Situations have hurt us. You know, even God does not always do what we want God to do. So we get angry. And it's acceptable. As, as human beings, we do have shortcomings and frailties. We hold offenses against those who have wronged us. And often... Times against God, who we think should do something differently. So it must not be no God. Hmm. Or a God concept. Although we gave all these sciences to the world. Anyway, a grudge is nothing more than a refusal to forgive. What is a God force? 
you know, it's not necessarily a religious concept. You no, know, um, it's, it's also scientific, right? It's what evolves or devolves our nervous systems. You know. Um, so, when you break some of this stuff down in science, it's like, you know, maybe a grudge is nothing more than a refusal to forgive someone. That's all a grudge is. So, since this tendency is inherent in all of us, every last one of us, it's seemingly unavoidable, Unavoidable, but what does the, um, the scriptures and stuff say about uh, that type of thinking? You know, you know, God has such a strong concern for grudges that God included a specific command about them when He gave the law to the Israelites. God said, "Do not seek revenge or bear a grudge against anyone among your people." Love your neighbor as yourself. And I am God. It's interesting that a God will conclude his particular commandment with the words, I still am God. I'm God. Not you. Not the persons you perceive to have wronged you. I am the Lord. So in doing so, God reminds us. In my opinion, and accordingly, according to the biblical scripture, okay? Because God reminds us that he's the master judger, the master planner. We, You plan, I plan, Allah plans. And Allah is the master planner. Allah don't have to plan. It is. I mean, it's... These are concepts I really believe that going into 2022, I want to focus more on for our mental health because there's a lot of stuff going on that, you know, that is just making us wired real messed up, in my opinion. All of us, you know, as a human family, you know, and to hold a grudge is to set ourselves up as judge and jury. To determine that one person's wrong should not be forgiven. No human being has the right or the authority to do that. And that's according to Romans 2.19. Do not, it, that says, do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath. For it is written, it is mine to avenge. I will repay. So... You know, misunderstandings, and they, you know, can lead to grudges. But this should also be a forgiveness in our spirits. We all should have a um, the ability to not let um, our egos be so strong and think it's acceptable that we can't uh, forgive. Because according to the Quran, it is um, um, it's God's attributes is to accept apologies and forgive sins. That's that's what Allah's that's the, that's those are attributes that God wears that God has. Because He forgives us, whether we've always done the right thing or the wrong thing. So it's an attribute of God. To understand that in Islam, when you don't accept a person's um, apology, Allah punishes you. Because your heart is hard. And it's almost like, who are you? Who are we to feel that we don't have the right to forgive and punish and and punish those forever and ever and ever and keep the madness going. Right? There's some that's always gonna think outside the box. But it's almost like what Pastor Ray Hagan said. I'm gonna make a circle. And everything inside this circle represents what your circumference of understanding is. 
But everything outside of it is a lot more knowledge that you may not really be given um, any credit to. And in this age of um, spiritual warfare that uh, we see that the demonic forces on the earth have unleashed on us, we are turning against each other. You know, I've, these stories are beginning to be more and more crazier that, that are coming down the pipe. Politics is one thing. But what when we if we lose our souls and our abilities to be human, because we that means we're the only species on the on the planet for all of our intelligence that can't get along with one another. For all of our intelligence, um we a bunch of egos that need to be destroyed before you can even have any semblance of a real, real life because your ego is what keep you unforgiving to hold grudges, all those things when <laughs> your own God force in you tells you I have to give this person to move forward. Right? Um, and that don't mean you got to invite them to your birthday party. Collectively, it means you have to have a conversation. Right? That's what it means. And it means that if your heart is not hard and you're willing to forgive, and the people who have wronged you are apologetic, as a group of people, we have to understand that we got a responsibility in the healing of this planet as well. Because of all of God's children, all of the species of the human beings, I think as black people, we have, and I don't need no validation from anybody to agree. I know we've been dogged out worse than any other group on the planet. Nobody's Holocaust has lasted this long. Okay, that's common sense. That's common sense. But even in that, even, even in that, we have to forgive one another. We still got to sweep around our front doors. And we cannot continue to devour one another and keep having these neighborhood graveyards with the damn bottles and candles and pictures on the damn trees and what in Sam's tarnation. We need to get that off because ain't no love in it. Ain't no love in it. Because anything that you practice becomes a habit. It becomes a growth. At one time, black people, we loved each other. In spite of all the ills that we had, we loved each other. And you saw the movement. You saw things happening for us. Collectively. And then you already know what always happens throughout history. If it if it's General Elmhurst and the smallpox and the blanket, whether it's a, a, a chemical smallpox or whatever, it's always alcohol to the Indians. It's always a way to try to kill that unity. But one thing you can't do is you can't kill God. You can't kill a God for us. So we will connect back to that. And this is my spiritual, humble opinion. And still start in our own families to know that there's got to be some forgiveness that takes place. And it's difficult. It's difficult. Don't mean the person got to come to your birthday party. But we have to. And um, because God says... Uh, I will punish you if you don't accept your brother's and your sister's apology. And it is law. 
or I want for my brother what I want for myself. <laughs> or Leviticus 19 and 18, it says, Do not receive revenge or bear grudge against your brother or sister. So, I know we got to take it a little bit at a time, black people, coming up in 2022. But we can do it. We can do it. And I know it's like we pushing a boulder up a damn mountain. And we just want to give up. But to give up is to probably miss the prize that's on the other side. So with that being said, I hope y'all stay on the journey. The mental house is going to continue to talk that real talk. We are going to continue to deal with uh, maybe uh, the his politics. I don't want to mess with that. I don't want to mess with that. Because I ain't trying to send nobody's blood pressure, including mine, off the chain. You know. And unless they put the people in jail that did all that stuff, January 6th is coming up on a year. Nobody nobody but the people on the ground did it. Always the pawns. Nobody ain't getting nobody in high. And as long as that stuff is going on, I need to focus on, um, as I've been doing, to continue on my exodus. And I suggest that y'all do the same no matter what that is. You know, mentally, uh, emotionally, and let's do some pe forgiving as a people so we can move forward. And with that being said, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. Happy New Year to you. And I'll see you in the next video.